Say hello. Say hello. Wave. Go. Hello. Good boy. Lean. Lean. No, you put something in your mouth. So this is actually a request made by L or Ellis. I'm not sure actually your full name, I do apologise. I can't remember the exact question they asked, but it was along the lines of what do we do to entertain Pablo when we don't want to entertain him? As in, if we're busy, how do we stop him being a little menace and keep him entertained without physically touching him? So between me and Chelsea, we work it quite well on a weekday because I finish work, play with him for an hour, she finishes work, plays with him for an hour, we take him for his walk, and then he's knackered like he is now. He's falling asleep while sitting up. But when he was a pup, and sometimes on weekends, he can be a handful. So there's two things. Well, there's up. Oh, oh, where are you going? Hey, I haven't finished. So really, there's one thing that we do. And it seems to work all the time. And that's give him something to chew. Now, what you don't want to do... Oh, what? Oh, let me find one. So we've got chew toys like this, like the kind of rubbery things, which sometimes he chews. I mean, like as you can see, maybe the ends are all nibbled away on it and stuff. So he does like to chew them. But the best thing to get for him... So continues almost asleep two seconds ago. This is actually like kind of wound him back up, but it also does the opposite effect. So these are like the raw hide kind of chews. I mean, we've had them for like a week or so. And they've got kind of down to half, and then we've thrown them out because they're a bit grotty. He follows me around all the time. So if I go in the kitchen, he follows me around. When he's got this... He is not bothered where I go, as long as he's got that. So something we were told is that you should always take them off him, not just let them have free reign, because if I take that off him, he gets upset. So the fact that when I give it to him, he then won't want to give me it back because he knows if I take it back, he won't be able to have it again. So he is quite protective over it. He won't let you have it. So if he's, an, if he's kind of annoying us or he's getting in the way of what we're doing, give him one of them and he won't come near you because he thinks you'll take it off him. Which for us has been an absolute godsend. And he doesn't eat it. Like He won't just swallow it all down and chew it up and eat it. He just chews it for a long time. But compared to a chew like this, he gets bored of that because there's no taste to it. That's obviously tasty and he can kind of eat a little bit at the same time. No, yeah, not interested. Go straight back to that. So another thing we actually do, which I guess I would say it's, it's a little bit mean, but it's not. We're not, you know, hurting him or anything, is he loves a shoelace. He loves to chew shoelaces. So what we've done... <laughs> is we sometimes just tie it around his tail because he likes to chase his tail so tie a shoelace just around his tail just give it a little little knot nothing too tight don't want to cut the circulation off it's a bit hit and miss with him playing with it sometimes he just gets annoyed by it and just sits with it on sometimes he chases it around for a good time but it's an, it's another option at least so another thing that we were told to do for when he's been too overexcited and getting in our way is I can't physically find it. I don't know where it is. We haven't used it, which is why it's not in any of his toy baskets or stuff. So what I'll do is I'll put a picture of one up here. Now these are the Kong toys. Now these are supposed to put treats in them and they roll them about and try and get the treats out. And for them, it's just a game. But Pablo's quite smart. And when we first gave him it, he just tipped them out straight away and that was it, job done. So what we've been told is you can mush his food up into like a, a paste and then kind of like lather it on the inside so he can't physically get it out. What happens is as the paste dries, the trees start to fall out. 
but obviously that's over a course of a long time so they'll be trying to get the treats out for ages and won't physically be able to do it which can keep them very entertained but I've not tried it so I can't tell you exactly how much this works but Pablo loves his his chew sticks, his little raw hides but yeah I hope this helps and what you could do is drop in the comments if any of you do have dogs or have had dogs of ways you've entertained them without physically entertaining them if that makes sense just everyone can help everyone out then and I'm sure you can give me some ideas as well and help everyone else out who's struggling with the amount of energy these little fellas have. But yeah, peace out.